Scott, was that a, a bit of an initiation in terms of the, the pitch? I mean, it was obviously fast and bouncy. I mean, how difficult was that to handle? Uh, like we knew it was going to be fast and bouncy going in. It probably wasn't, didn't play as fast and bouncy as we expected, I think, um, which probably caught us off guard. I mean, obviously they've got a, a world-class bowling lineup with four guys that bowl over 140, but yeah, it's just disappointing that we, um, yeah, we couldn't negotiate it. And any update on Baz? Obviously a pretty uh, tough blow there to the, to the face. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's obvious it's cut his, um, cut his cheek open a bit. So uh, seems seems to be okay, but um, yeah, we'll be monitoring him and hopefully he's good to go for the next game. What what was it like seeing that happen and and then the guys have to come in after that, knowing that they might face something pretty similar? Ah, uh, oh, you know, guys guys get hit in the head all the time. It's not not ideal that it uh, yeah, it's not good that it got through and um, sort of cut him. But yeah, that's that's what you play professional cricket. You're always going to come up against guys that, that bowl fast. We do have a question on Zoom, so we'll just head head there. Hi, Scott. Um, I think one feature of the Dutch batting lineup of late has been the boundaries drying up in the middle overs, and today we saw it was also in the power play. Uh, and it's not just in the T20s, but also in the ODI Super League. What do you put it down to, and how has the team addressed that issue of late? Yeah, no, it's definitely an issue. Um, I suppose with the bigger boundaries in Australia, but. Yeah, that's that's not an excuse. I think we're losing wickets at times. Um, yeah, which is meaning we can't get partnerships together, and yeah, we feel like we're always sort of rebuilding. So, yeah, it's not ideal, but it's yeah something we've got to address, and um, yeah, hopefully come back and fix that in the next couple of games. And looking forward to the next game against Zimbabwe, they've been playing some good cricket. Uh, what's the focus going to be on, and how do you how do you need to improve as a team? Yeah, I think we've played a fair bit of cricket against Zimbabwe, so. Yeah, just hoping to put a better performance together. Um, our, our batting hasn't got firing all tournament, and yeah, which has been really disappointing. So, hopefully, uh, these last two games we can put some put some decent scores on the board and um, yeah, make a good account for ourselves. And just and you, Mesh, if you'd like to try and ask your question again. Okay, am I audible now, Olivia? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, okay, so Scott, my question is that uh, first of all, hard luck for the match and uh, congratulations for the brilliant catch you took of uh, Fagaz Zaman. So my question is that uh, how the team will go ahead with the, what mindset in our head in the tournament? Now after you have three consecutive losses, so are you here to enjoy the tournament and get maximum learnings after that? Yeah, well, obviously it's pretty much impossible to <laughs> make the semi-finals now. So for us, it's just... You know about winning these these last two two games of cricket. So yeah, we're still here to um, compete and win those games. And um, yeah, as I said, hopefully put a good account for ourselves in Dutch cricket moving forward. So is there any update on Baz? Uh, so he was injured during the match on the hardest rouse delivery. So is there any update on the Baz? Will he be available for the next match or not? Uh, yeah, answered that before. Yeah, hopefully he's available, but um, haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, uh, Scott. Uh, given the way this game turned out, were you surprised that Pakistan was, you know, lost the first two matches? Uh, well, obviously they're they're a good cricket side. Um, you know, they went close against India in a good game, and um, they probably didn't bring it to, against Zimbabwe. But they're obviously a class uh, class unit, and they'll probably go well throughout the tournament. Um, but yeah, T Twenty cricket. Is can can go up and down. So yeah, hopefully for us it goes up in these next couple.